Hey, Harry. <clears throat> Uh, I thought I would record a video for you uh, showing you my new base here. And I thought I would try and do it kind of professionally, meaning, you know, how you always see the, the videos on YouTube. Um, rather than just recording it on my iPhone, it, the video is being recorded on my iPhone. Um, but when I'm all done, I'm going to get rid of the audio that's being recorded on the iPhone. And I've got this hooked in basically to my uh, Studio One software. It's going into an 11 rack, which is running basically like an Ampeg um, amp, and then into my audio interface, and then into the software. So the uh, the audio that you get should be uh, much better than if I just recorded it with, with um, the built-in microphone there. And then I have a microphone right here. You can kind of see the pop filter edge of it right here, uh, recording my voice. So anyways, here it is. It's uh, dropped copper is the color. Uh, it's a maple neck, obviously. What else? Sterling by Music Man Stingray. Uh, open back tuners. Nothing then new there. Was it six bolts? Um, but it's great. Um, this is a short scale bass. So from here to here, it's 30 inches. My jazz bass on the wall behind me is 34 inches from there to there. So I held it up. Basically, when I'm fretting the first fret here, it's like fretting the third fret there. So it's just it's just easier. And actually, I think, I don't know if yours are 30, but I think those EBs that you have are short scales. I don't know if they're 30 inch short scales, because sometimes they make 31s and 32s from what I've read. But anyways, so that's pretty nice. Um, let's see. I mean, it's just... Uh, and I don't know if it's arm position or what, but like, for instance, there's this one Stevie Ray Vaughan song that starts out and it goes from the open string to the fourth fret to the seventh fret. And that is generally a really kind of a, I got small hands, but that's a stretch for me. And this one, it just, maybe because my hand is here instead of down here, I don't know, but. It's just a lot easier to do, so. Anyway, so obviously it's got a single uh, pickup. The three knobs are, this first knob is just the volume knob. It's a push-push knob, meaning when I push it, it gives you a bass boost. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this. Let me try this. Hopefully that picks up the bass boost, which the pickup is not active. It's passive, so obviously you can't have bass boost if you don't have active pickups. So it's really a bass cut in normal mode, and then you uncut it so it boosts, whatever. I don't really see why I would use that for anything anyways. The uh, the middle switch is a three-way uh, toggle switch. And what it does is, all the way forward, it has this pickup in series, which is very um, aggressive. I don't know if, if it'll, you'll be able to pick this up on the recording, but very you get a lot of bass and aggressive growl to it. go down to single coil so now instead of a hamburger it's a single and then the last one it's uh, parallel um, generally to my ears we go from growl to a little less, to a little less. And then the last one is just a, a tone uh, switch. You can hear that, you can really hear it there. Uh, but it does it on all of them, let's try this one. I mean, this is the middle. And uh, parallel. So yeah, you can definitely hear it. Um, but, yeah, it's very, um, um, very um, guitar-like. The neck is, it's just like the jazz bass. It's 1.5 inches right here. So it's a slim neck, not like a precision. I don't know your EB1s. I've not, I've not looked up the specs on those, so I don't know if those are thinner necks or not. But um, certainly for my small hands, uh, I love it. Um, it. It comes with round, rounds, round wound strings on it, 
but I did buy a set of flat wounds for it. Mainly because they're just so darn comfortable, um, not because of a certain sound that I wanted or anything. In fact, my concern is that maybe putting the flat ones on, it will not quite have the the, the bite, the grit that it currently has. Um, but it's not like I can't put these back on. Um, so I will try it with the flats and see how that goes. But this, actually, this isn't that bad. Um, it's been a long time because I've had flats on that other bass for years. So I haven't played a bass with round round strings in a while. So... Um, it's I mean, you can definitely feel it but it's it's not not killing me or anything so anyways that's it i can't really think of anything uh more to tell you if obviously you obviously have any questions let me know uh so hey make sure that you like and subscribe to this uh video <laughs> don't you hear that all the time anyways uh that's it hope you like it and um Talk to you soon.